Hi SD fans and welcome back to the channel. Firstly, apologies for a few weeks of radio silence, but as you will hear, we've had quite a lot on our plate. Anyway, a belated Happy New Year to everyone out there, wherever you are in this mad crazy world. Join me as I let you in on what we've been up to here in Scuba Diver Land and what we have planned for 2022 so far. The last couple of years has been a bit of a whirlwind as the dive industry battled against the scourge of COVID-19. But as we move into 2022, at least there is more than a glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. As I speak to you now, Omicron cases are dropping rapidly here in the UK and it looks likely that the current Plan B restrictions will be removed towards the end of next week. The coronavirus is still playing havoc in the world of dive travel, but more and more countries are opening their borders. And I know that many of you are champing at the bit to get on a plane and go diving. Sadly, many companies did not make it through the pandemic. And towards the end of last year, the diver group went into administration. COVID-19 being the final straw that broke the proverbial camel's back. The business published the long-established diver magazine, which had been around in one form or other since the 1960s. Ran Divernet, one of the first internet sites for divers when it launched in 1996 and organised a dive show event in Birmingham, which was due to celebrate its 30th anniversary last year. Now, the team at Raw Media Limited, the company behind Scuba Diver and the Go Diving Show, decided that we could not see such a legacy go the way of the dodo. And so we managed to acquire the Diver Group assets. We've relaunched DiverNet, which offers a rich resource for divers of all levels, with literally hundreds of pages of information to delve into. And we brought back Steve Weinman, who had been the editor of Diver Mag for well over two decades, to take the helm of the website. I'll put a link in the description below. Go check it out for yourself. The Dive Show has merged with the Go Diving Show to create one mega event for the UK diving world. And this will be taking place from the 4th to the 6th of March this year. The Go Diving Show, which is co-sponsored by Tobago Beyond, creates a trade-only day with a weekend for consumers and it offers plenty for all levels of diver from those interested in getting started and novices to experienced divers and even veteran technical explorers. This spectacular diving exhibition is bursting at the seams with interactive elements, VR experiences, hands-on workshops, myriad booths from manufacturers, travel agents, tour operators, tourist boards, resorts and liverboards and it features an array of world-class speakers, including TV favourites Steve Backshall, Andy Talbot and Monty Halls. What else does the Scuba Diver team have lined up for this year? Well, there's a host of new equipment coming from the likes of 4th Element, Scuba Pro, Mares, Apex and Aqualung that I can't wait to get my hands on to take diving. I'll be rounding these up periodically in our What's New section, as well as doing some more dedicated, full-on reviews too. We'll be bringing you more of our popular medical videos, courtesy of our partnership with Divers Alert Network. And we are also planning some collaborations with assorted dive gurus out there to give you the inside track on diving techniques to help you develop your diving skill set. In May, I'll be heading out to Grenada for the annual Dive Fest event. It was held in a digital format in 2021, and as it returns to a live and in-person event this year, it has also expanded its focus to have a more of a conservation theme. Hence, it is now known as the Grenada Conservation and Dive Fest. Grenada is the undoubted wreck diving capital of the Caribbean, and I'll put a link to the previous video we did giving you a tour around some of the best diving shipwrecks in the description below. Plan to visit during the event from the 16th to the 23rd of May, and as well as superb reef and wreck diving, there will also be a photo competition, inspirational talks, workshops, special guests, a lionfish hunt, and much, much more. In June, I'm hoping it will be a case of third time lucky as I try to get to Lundy Island to dive with the seals. This tiny island off the north coast of Devon in the southwest of England is one of the best places in the country to interact with inquisitive seals. But alas, as with much of the diving in the UK, 
it's prone to being affected by bad weather conditions. Twice our planned trip was cancelled in 2021, in August and October. So I've got all my fingers and toes crossed that June sees us on the dive boat and heading out to sea to see the seals. October, I am out to the Egyptian Red Sea for the first time since 2019. I absolutely love the Red Sea. It is one of my favourite dive destinations due to its sublime blend of colourful reefs, dramatic walls, ripping drifts, stunning shipwrecks and myriad varieties of marine life. I'll be venturing out in the deep south on a liverboard with a bunch of industry friends. What could possibly go wrong? And finally, remember the Team Seas campaign we triumphed in a previous video? Powered by YouTube sensations Mark Rober and Jimmy Donaldson, who's better known, I'm told, as Mr. Beast, and he has just been named the highest paid YouTuber in 2021, the Team Seas campaign aimed to raise $30 million which will be used to remove 30 million pounds of plastic debris from our oceans and waterways. As we enter 2022, this mega amount had been reached, and as I record this, they are halfway towards 31 million dollars. That equates to a phenomenal amount of plastic rubbish that will be removed from our oceans and disposed of. You can still play a part in this campaign. Check out the Team C's website to donate, find out how you can get actively involved, and see how the total is growing. Again, I'll put a link in the description below. So that's all for now. Good to see you all again. As always, if you're going diving, stay safe, and I'll see you back here very soon.